share it with you and show you my space where I make all my art. I have my little crown on because I just filmed a tutorial on how to make these crowns and that's coming up next. And I'm going to show you guys my space. I hope you're excited. Come on in. well um, so we've zoomed uh, out so that you guys are, can see me and I'm not behind the camera um, we have a little outfit change here uh, this little area is kind of for props as you can see I have things like really nice like vintage glassware um, teacups and then I am quite the fan of vases. I use them a lot in shoots, so we have uh, a good amount of vases, um, as well as I do also try and have some like interesting looking vases, um, change things up. Uh, the other thing about this area, I'm gonna move over here, I feel like Vanna White. Um, so we have the cleaning supplies area. We got like paper towels, Lysol, uh, you know, I have a lot of uh, windows and mirrors, so we got our Windex. Uh, that's what's happening here. This middle area is because of some of the models that I work with regularly who are here a lot. Just things they've said to me um, during shoots, like sometimes people feel they're ashy, so we have lotion. We like that shiny look, so we got that baby oil. Um, I have cats. So sometimes I just need to lit roll myself here and there, you know, got to do that. Um, as well as somebody left hairspray, so we, we're keeping the hairspray here. Uh, I also keep makeup wipes. And I got Q-tips. Um, just, again, try and have some basic things that my models might need um, when we're shooting or that they've kind of asked me for um, when they're here. And now I try and have that for them because I, I just like to be accommodating. I've worked in hospitality my whole life. I've been a restaurant worker and I've just worked service. Um, so I, I do like to uh, just make sure I have kind of basic things. I can't give you everything. That's not my job. But I do like to you know give that little extra um, and just make people feel good um, by treating them well. Okay, so we'll put that back. Uh, and then up here at the top, we have like hand wipes, there's some sanitizer, I have snacks like Kind Bars, Goldfish, we got some coffee, I keep also these little water bottles for people, um, and then we also keep some sparkling water, um, but that's what this little basket here is. Put everything back. Uh, and then over here on this side we have like a we have a speaker so if you want to listen to music that's what this little tag is and then I also have like a charge station and I try and have cords for iPhones Androids and if whatever you know the three different cords I have them um, they're there so that's kind of what this area is and then we'll swing this way guys boop 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 over here okay actually maybe not got to take you guys back. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, here we go. That's a better view. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll jump up in here. So this lovely area is uh, my storage slash closet because uh, the studio is just a big rectangle. There's not really like a small closet. Uh, I wish you couldn't see this. This is where like if I had like a curtain here or something, just, you know, you don't want people. And because the door is right there, so when people come in, uh, I, I like that they get to see the studio that direction, but this is behind them. Um, but let's see, where should I start? Um, so this side, we have more kind of my theme stuff. So like Christmas has two boxes. We have Halloween, New Year's. Uh, the stuff on the top that says please don't touch is more so kind of like my art stuff from art days uh, in art school. I had to make all these projects and stuff. and. Uh, a lot of like framed work and stuff that I just don't know what to do with and I haven't 
I'm, I'm working on the let go process of everything I made in art school. Um, so that is stuff that I should probably let go, but we're not there yet, so it, it sits here. Um, and then if we come down here, uh, I have some manga, because I do um, some anime and manga related shoots, because I'm really big on manga, uh, anime is cool, and I love cosplayers, so any cosplayers out there, I, I would love to work with some cosplayers. Uh, kind of do, I'd love to do some like fine art cosplay. Um, and then we have another shelf over here that has more props and glassware. Um, I don't think you guys can see, but like, you know, I have some gold, gold items, gold bowl. We got this cool candlestick. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what this area is. We got the soft box. We got our Christmas tree. Uh, we got a fold out table for people. If you like, I like to put this out and put snacks on it for people uh, when I do paid shoots. Uh, always stepping ladder is really nice one to get up to places as well as like when you're shooting. Sometimes you want to like be over somebody or just having a little bit of height. This guy's really nice. I actually would like to get, this is just the two step and I want like a four. I want one where I can at least be, I don't know, eight feet. Um, I don't know if I need an eight foot ladder though. So, but well, maybe, maybe I do. Uh, Sorry if I'm talking fast. Uh, I'm excited and I'm just trying to get through this stuff. Um, so then on this shelf is more stuff that I feel like people would actually maybe use when they're here. So like we have uh, this bin that has backdrops. Uh, we have a gray backdrop up uh, on the wall there. Uh, but this has white, green, uh, sh curtains and some other stuff. And then we have two bins that are just more so loose fabric, so like uh, cur uh, curtains, shower curtains, just fabric that I've bought and or found um, and collected. Uh, we have this bin which has fake rose petals, masks, candles, um, as well as like, I have like lots of LED lights and stuff for shoots. Um, and then we have Valentine's Day. These are big flowers, and then this is a bin of like polyfill, so like if you want to make like clouds for shoots. I actually haven't gotten to use it yet. Um, there's lots of stuff here that I intend to use for shoots, but I haven't yet, so expect lots from me. Um, but yeah, so that's this little area in this space. Uh, I'm going to take you guys into the jungle room, and I will tell you guys about that room, as well as I will also take you guys into the powder room which is like my boudoir space. Uh, so those are the two areas that I have. And then we have this big room that is more kind of open. Um, we've got the couches for people to hang out. And then I have the lovely backdrop behind us for uh, shooting people, as well as I shoot a lot of product over um, in this area. So I'll swing you guys that way. I'm walking towards you. I'll swing you guys that way and let you see that. And then we're gonna go in the jungle room. Swing you guys around, and we had a different backdrop, but I'm filming a different day, and you guys kind of don't know that, except for right now. Um, but yeah, so now we have this gray backdrop, and this is kind of the setup with the curtain rod there at the top, and then it comes down to the ground, and it's, it's a really good setup for doing portraits and stuff, and you have enough space. Um, like I'll come over here, like, you know, you, if you guys were shooting pictures, you have like all this space to work with, which is really nice for posing. I'll just do a little dance for you guys, a little pose flow for you, like that, you know. Um, so that's what this area is, you know, I could, we could do some senior portraits. Um, but I'll take you guys into the jungle room now, um, my plant room, and I'm excited to share that with you. And now we're gonna pan. Uh, I have a collection of mirrors. There's some there. And really, I have a big mirror over here too. Um, as well as I have a few mirrors in the studio, like that guy in the corner. Um, but yeah, so we have mirrors. We have a couch for seating. And then we'll kind of go like this direction. Oop, 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 maybe more here. Um, that's a little bar area. Um, cause I do some work with my friend who's a bartender. He wants to start making like cocktail videos. And so that we have a little bar area. Um, and then 
great example of me and my fine art photography and setting up a scene. Um, so these are all fabrics, mainly tablecloths. We have three different tablecloths and then this is also a tablecloth. And again, everything is on a curtain rod up there. That's how I do my setups. Uh, if I'm trying to like set up a scene, um, and then we go over here and we have this lovely doorway, doorway. And that will lead us into our first room, which is the most popular room I have, uh, I think. it's I call it the jungle room. Uh, we got some very good jungly vibes going on here. Uh, so I will take you guys in there next. I'm a camera girl in a camera world. I'm a camera girl. Welcome to the jungle room. Um, I'm sorry it is backlit. We just get so much light and I just kind of want to have the space. I could have just like this is the backdrop um, and talk to you guys that way. Um, but hopefully you don't mind the lighting. Um, but yeah, this is my plant room and that was how it started. I just wanted to have a plant room and then I from there I like tiki bars, tiki lounges. So that's where I was like, oh, I want like a tropical vibe, tropical plant room. Um, and it just, from there I started collecting, um, real plants, fake plants. I'd say we're at like a 50-50. There's like nine fake plants and ten real ones. Uh, so we've almost got 20 plants in here as well as like the vines. I'm going to be adding more to this space because, uh, you can never have too many vines. Uh, we try, there's a couple different chairs and seating spaces for you guys to, uh, shoot. Sorry, I'm going to leave the frame for a moment, steal this pillow from the other side, but, and like there's a chair here. Sorry, I did a shoot yesterday, so there's stuff in the studio, but like, put this here and you just, you know, can hang out and pose and shoot whatever you need to right here. Um, but yeah, that was the goal with this space. And I've just gotten a lot of positive feedback and it's just, everybody really loves it and uh, I'm surprised, I, I, or no, I'm not surprised, but it, I, it feels really good and that's kind of a little diff difficult for me or, or I'm not used to, I don't know what I'm saying guys. Um, my brain has a hard time accepting like good things and so the fact that like a lot of people like this space and all I'm getting here is positive feedback um, makes me feel really good um, and, I, and I'm trying to just bask in it which is also why I wanted to do this tour and show you guys the space is because I do think that I did a really good job decorating and I had a lot of fun. Um, I do want to say that everything in here is from Goodwill um, except for a few things like these rugs and this pillow uh, are from Ross uh, but almost all the furniture, the fake plants, they're all from Goodwill and I think I did a really good job sourcing things which is also uh, I have a kind of thrift store, online thrift store, slash vintage shop. I'll put a link like right here. It's called Fine Art Vintage uh, because I really do like sourcing and finding things, but of course I can't keep everything. So I started a little online thrift store and I put things up every so often and when things sell, then I'll go and get more um, because again, I can't accumulate a lot. But if you guys are interested in any kind of cool items for photo shoots or things, uh, I definitely recommend checking Fine Art Vintage. I also might put some of my crowns like this. I might start making fake crowns uh, specifically uh, to sell because they won't get damaged in the shipping process um, as well as uh, I do like to make soy candles. I know this is like off topic, but I make soy candles as well as I make a, some jewelry items. And so those will all be on my fine art vintage uh, 
Instagram as well as Etsy and I'm on Depop but I think I'm gonna move everything to just Etsy because I like Etsy um, and that seems to be the more popular um, selling company app I don't like I don't know you know you know guys know what I'm saying um, but yeah that's this space and I'm really proud of it and I hope you guys like it and I'm gonna show you guys uh, some more little details of the space um, and then I'll take you guys in the powder room okay I talked to you guys about this mirror that I, I really love like it's just absolutely beautiful it's carved it's got really beautiful details I, I don't think the camera will let me focus on them more than this because they're tiny uh, let's see if we can get closer yeah so like this little medallion here I added and chain and it's on either side of the mirror so it gives it a little boho vibe uh, I really like this cushion it's from Ross Again, the rugs are from Ross. Uh, everything you see here is from Goodwill. The bench, the pillows, the little tray, uh, that table's from Ross. Uh, that gold snake is from Ross. Um, but yeah, again, mostly all Goodwill, all Goodwill. Everything over here is Goodwill, except for the, the real plant, real plant, real plant, not. But I think that gives you guys an idea I hope you guys are doing well, and now we're going to try, or not try, we are going to go into the other room. I'm a camera girl, in a camera world, I'm a camera girl, I'm a camera girl, in a camera world, I'm a camera girl. powder room. This is my boudoir space that I created um, as that is one of the main things that I shoot is boudoir and then fine art um, and then I do a fair amount of portraits as well. Um, and so this space the thought was that since I do boudoir and I work with women a lot we're going for those feminine vibes uh, so that's why we have a lot of like fuzzy rugs, there's a lot of pink uh, going on in here, roses, uh, and then I myself uh, really like vintage retro pinup uh, vibe as well as photos and so that's where all the antiques and uh, decor come in for this space. Uh, we also have like this wardrobe rack that has uh, jackets and cover-ups. Um, so I did my best to just create what I thought one would be a really good boudoir space for myself as well as, you know, I do rent out the space via Peer Space. So uh, I'll link Peer Space here. This is like my link pose. Um, but yeah, we'll link Peer Space here for you guys so that you guys can check out the actual uh, studio for rent. Um, and I will also link the website here for you so that if anybody, I have a website for the studio um, so you can see more photos and stuff if you would like and the studio is also on instagram at indulgent underscore studios i'll put that over here on the other side of the screen for anybody who wants to follow us um but this space was mainly created for that and then i guess the plant room you guys saw it i don't feel like it's like masculine but i did i was just trying to that room to be a bit more open since this room is so femme and so pink and would most people would say girly so the plant room was supposed to kind of be an opposite space to this space but i think that i created some really unique spaces and i absolutely love them in the comments down below you guys let me know if you if you're I don't know if you're team jungle room if you're team boudoir hey maybe you just like the main space because it's just kind of open and it doesn't really have like a, a specific vibe or feel to it um, you know but leave a comment below and let me know we're gonna go with team jungle room and team powder room so which room do you guys like um, or which vibe or aesthetic um, do you guys think that I need to add more plants um, like that's still something like I want a couple more plants but I feel like I'm good on the plants I know I'm gonna add more vines 
So, you know, again, just, you know, leave some comments. Let me know if you guys think that the plant room needs more plants. Um, I, you know, this room, okay. I might be changing out this wall here. I'll, I'll turn you guys so you can see a little bit better. But yeah, this wall here, we might be changing. So again, maybe leave me a comment below. Do we love this wall? Should I change this wall? Uh, this was the main wall I did by myself. There's a little bit of gapping. It doesn't show up too badly in photos. It's not too noticeable, so it's fine. Um, but I had been planning to change the paper, and I bought different paper, but then I just left this up. Uh, and we're going on about four months, four or five months being open, so maybe that's the fun, is changing up the paper. So leave me a comment below if you think that I should change the wall. Uh, in the room or if I should stay with the peach tree. So stay peach tree or change wall. Um, but thank you guys again for tuning in and checking out my video and I will give you guys a little close-up tour of some details in here and I will say uh, you know join join the team, the squad, the crew, the tribe, whatever term I'm using to call JPace Creatives. Uh, usually I think I say crew and tribe, but we've been throwing the other ones out there. I like a squad every so often. Um, we're just not a team because we don't do sports. Sports are okay. We're an artist, you know, we don't do sports. Um, but yeah, join, join the family, the group, the, the, the choir, all of those things. Uh, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Yeah. Oh, hard work's gonna be worth